I'm Marnie Halpern, Chair and Professor in the Department of Molecular and Systems Biology at the Geisel School of Medicine. So the zebrafish is a very powerful genetic model for its um, strengths in developmental biology because the embryos are transparent at early developmental stages and because of that clarity you can watch all the tissues and organs developing right before your eyes. Um, in our most recent work we've been studying left-right differences in the brain. It turns out that the zebrafish is a really good model for trying to understand how does a brain develop differences on the left and right sides and what is their functional or behavioral significance. We were able to show that a small number of neurons, a small number of cells, were able to influence how the adjacent region of the brain developed. You know, when you think about neurological disorders where we really haven't solved the developmental basis like schizophrenia or um, depression syndromes, that maybe a very small difference that happened in development could have far-reaching consequences later on um, in life and, and in how we behave. And I can see um, scientists throughout the Dartmouth community who work on particular genes that they're interested in now having the ability not just to maybe work in cultured cells, but to actually bring those um, an understanding of those genes to a real living animal because it's pretty easy now to make a targeted mutation in any gene of interest, let's say affecting blood cells or the heart, um, kidney, and ask, all right, what role does this gene actually play in the development or physiology of that structure or organ?